Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I go by the name of Unfiltered Kitty. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe to this Unfiltered Family. So loves, on today's video, we're actually going to feature O Honor Olifant, as you can tell. So guys, I thought to myself, let me just focus on uh doing content regarding our content creators here on the YouTube street, even influencers, mainly because of I don't like entertain I'm a celebrity Kakulu yes. When it comes to entertainment channel, you should like uh, focus on celebrities and stuff like that. But I've noticed good I watch a lot of lot of uh content creators here on the YouTube street instead of watching celebrities by and I'm not that invested Kobona. So if you are actually new here, just know that uh, my channel will be focusing on our creators here on YouTube, mainly because of I watch them a lot and I do have some opinion and I would like to share it with you. So for somebody like me who used to watch Oona Olifant a lot and I couldn't even wait for her to upload a, a vlog. So guys, I realized the good to Oona Olifant, like her content also grew. Okay, I understand guys, Umuntu ya cooler and who are we to say good uh like you should stay the same and stuff like that. But there's a reason why I, I tend to watch American content creators, Kakul, more than South African YouTubers, mainly because of when they are vlogging, guys, they are doing one thing. Like you would never find a vlogger or South African vlogger who's not going to the restaurant and vlogging it or who's not doing grocery haul or going to the mall. They tend to do one thing a lot. If I click on somebody else, I know for a fact who would say that person in that vlog will go to a mall or that person in, in that vlog would go like would do like grocery hauls and stuff like that. And there's a reason why I honestly love okay yams. Yes, she does do like those kind of content going to the mall and vlogging it and stuff like that but she also divest into something else because of we get that a lot and that's guys maybe him and Klanya when it comes to this and i really want to hear your own opinion regarding this whole situation guys Uguzi, like how do you feel about it Uguzi, like every time when you click on somebody's vlog we are restaurant and guys the reason why i used to love o o on olifant like back then, obviously, maybe like some of, some of y'all will say, would say, obviously, she was not making a lot of money to afford to go to the restaurants and stuff like that. But how about she continue doing whatever she was doing there that like entertained us to watch her from the first place? So the fact that say she's going to the mall in Jalo, like we get that content everywhere everywhere guys when whoever like who's a who's a vlogger here on the youtube street in sa you would get that content How so i know would see everybody here uh obviously who's a vlogger is a different person i'm not saying good they shouldn't go to the restaurant and doing content there like it's okay they can't do that but uh it's quite annoying good see, every week they are doing the very same thing and guys there's a reason why this like we tend to fall in love with these people uh when they're starting out it's because of like they are being like their original self there's no way uguti when every week you are going to a, like a restaurant and doing this content no like we expect you to if you feel like you want to vlog and you don't have a content how about you look back uguti these people used to love me back then, even though I was not going like to the restaurants and stuff like that. How about you continue doing that? I'm not saying you shouldn't change mainly because of now you are making a lot of money so you can afford to go like to go to the malls. But all I'm saying would to look back there would say, okay, fine. Even if like as uh, this as uh, this week I'm not going to the restaurant and stuff like that and, and doing content, how about I vlog the way I used to vlog? We know you can afford to go to the restaurant. We know it. But like uh also like look back we would see again the good grow for you to be like where you at Nam uh like do that. Do that and see what the abandon was saying. So guys, maybe mm, I am that pe person up or I because of I feel like uh vloggers here if they don't go to like a restaurant and they feel like they don't have any content. And it's quite weird. I don't, I don't go anywhere. So, like, obviously, I don't, I don't have anything exciting. How about you do that vlog and clean? Like, show us when you are cleaning. Show us, like, sit down, talk to us, and entertain us. As much as you used to back then when you didn't, like, afford to go to the restaurant. Maybe not your personally, but I feel like I used to enjoy that a lot. 
because of when you go to the restaurant i know who's if i go to any other youtuber here who's a vlogger i would get that kind of content so i feel like uh sa like vloggers they feel like going to the restaurant is content for us of which is annoying it really is maybe i'm that person who'd want to watch somebody like otli nangatu somebody who like maybe i like something articulate who be right like of course I want to watch that kind of content. When you go to the restaurant, obviously, we see that a lot. As I said, guys, Angazi, maybe he meant Borayo personally. But it's quite weird to see when they're not going to the restaurant and having fun with their friend, they feel like they don't have any other content. But they forget to go see people used to watch their, their content back then when they had nothing. Not even, I'm not saying go see they were poor or stuff like no. Back then, when they like, they know what you know. What I'm just trying out here. I'm just gonna vlog anything that I see works. And guess what? It did get her like that. It did get her views, and it did get her subscribers. And that's something that you should look back into. Like whatever you're doing, like who on used to vlog a lot. Eh, eh, when she where she was staying. Uh, obviously she was still in school back then, and she used to stay at home doing like home vlogs and stuff like that she didn't go to the mall kakulu obviously she used to do grocery hauls and like people like enjoyed that content also they did and now she used to go back to home and vlog her sister went to with the cooking and doing things amazing we used to love that but now i feel like oh i'm honestly maybe i'm i'm the one who has a problem here like for me to watch like content creators here or vloggers here, I honestly feel like I'm like ugh, I know for a to go to in that content. Oh, she's going to her like with her friends, calling somebody to go out and stuff like that. That's something that that's something that we see a lot, a lot here. I could say because maybe I'm the one who's wrong. And I've noticed something about Ona. Nowadays she's focusing on Instagram. Okay, fine. I don't have a problem with that. Who am I to have a problem with that? But I realize, you could see, that's something that we see a lot when it comes to our YouTubers here. They start here, and, and so, as soon as they get our followers and stuff like, or oh, subscribers, they divest to Instagram. They try to be our um, Instagram baddies and forget about YouTube. And they will always have excuses to come and do like our uh, YouTube. No, I hey, what what in 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 Ghana? Like it's quite annoying. It's quite annoying. Why are like American content creators or YouTubers continue doing their job even if they've made it, even if they make a lot of money elsewhere? It's quite weird. And guys, let's not forget to go to like American content creators, vloggers, YouTubers, or Instagrammers. They get a lot of money, but guess what? They are still consistent. They are like uh doing YouTube. One thing about us, uh, SA, uh, when we make a lot of money, we tend to forget the, the one that we started with. We tend to forget it. Just because of I'm making a lot of money elsewhere. I tend to forget, it. oh, I started YouTube. Uh, my fan base started at YouTube. It's quite weird, guys. Like, I personally would say, would say us as uh, South African or black people, we tend to be a lazy a lot. We tend to be lazy a lot. But anyway, guys, that's my two cent opinion regarding like this situation. And I feel like Oona should come back and like uh be consistent here on the YouTube street and also be like consistent on Instagram. Yes, you can be like, a baby on Instagram and also be a vlogger here on the YouTube street. And it's okay like vlogging at your own place and doing whatever you want to do there. It's very entertaining. You don't have to go somewhere else to give us content. No. Give us the same content that you used to give us. That that that, that made us to fall in love with you. But anyway, guys, maybe get And uh, I'm the only one who feels this way. But anyway, that's my two cent opinion. Uh, do feel free to comment yours on the comment section down below. How do you feel about uh, South African vloggers or YouTubers on the comment section down below? And if you're new here, subscribe. Bye.